Welcome back. Galactic Survival List. Yeah, Alpha 12.3. Our Phase 3 just dropped today. And they added so much. I am going to attempt to start a new game to get all the new content, but stay on the sand seed. I'm not super good with this whole DI and, count and console stuff, but I believe my seed is 231. 715. Is there a way to give yourself levels? I know there is, but I don't know the commands for it. Outside of that, I think I can write down what I have and then rebring it into a new game. So that should be fun. And there it is Experimental 12.3. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start a game. Single player survival. All right, here we go. I just went up. Same seed. Yep, we're good there. Two, three, one, seven, one, five. Let's change the location to Omit. Let's go into difficulty settings. CPU, yeah, all good. Okay. All right, let's start. Going into experimental 12.3. They added a lot of information. Like, so much new data, it was not even worth continuing the game I was currently on. But what I'm going to do is restore myself pretty much to where I was. And prepping for that took me probably almost two hours. But, that's okay. I've learned a lot about console commands and whatnot. In fact, I might even attach a link below to show you some information that might be useful. Because you can type... DI gives you debug menu. You can type help, and that gives you all the commands. It's not a known command. There we go. But it, it's confusing. At least it was hard for me to understand exactly what was going on. So I found a video link, and that one showed me a little better explanation of how to make things happen. All right, coming in for a landing. Okay. Sure, that's new. Okay, let's go here. Damage hover bike. Wreckages. Players teleportation systems. This is, let me guess, player space right there. Which was pretty much where I was anyways. So I'm going to run over this way a little bit. Makes a different pinging sound now. That's interesting. Alright, this seems interesting enough. Actually, we're going to turn on the debug menu. Don't need it. And then we're going to type in level equals 21. No, 20. That should make me level 20. Yep, level 20 has been unlocked. That give me the skill points I needed, though. Let's see here. F3 to see that. I have 130 points. Yeah, that's okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to push, excuse me, we're going to push that backslash button. And we are going to type in God mode. Enable God mode. F2. This is my base. And we can go to change mode. Okay, that's better. That changes your mode, so then I can go in here to my creative stuff and spawn in my base without needing the resources to do so. Okay, well, honestly, that seems like, you know, a little bit more. Uh, what is going on here? Oopsie. I guess I should put that in the ground a little bit. Easy fixed. Now we're gonna go back into DI. And then we're going to destroy one one two eight. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Go me. One one two eight. Okay, base is destroyed. Let's respawn it in. F two spawn. Next we'll go item menu. Then I think 
we're gonna spawn in our SE that we had spawned in previously. Where is Explorer? Explore wherever you are. Spawn in. Sure, right there. Let's switch mode again. Put us back into creative. Unknown command. Oh, I'm terrible at spelling, apparently. Oh, it's change mode, not switch mode. That's why. Change mode. Okay, now we're in survival again. That's good. Next, we are going to give ourselves some stuff. Alright, let's connect into input. No, not fridge input. Sure, fridge input. Why not? I'm give myself the food that I had before. You know, this is just kind of showing you guys how to do things. But now that I got this menu selected, you know, I can go to food. I can give myself the food that I'm missing and all that. So, I will stop it here, spawn everything in, and show you the end result. All right, well, there we go. I've pretty much given myself back everything I had. There's some other stuff missing, but, you know, it's okay. I can go loot more stuff. But this is a good starting point. I have all my fuel, my garden, all that stuff set up. All right, then. Well, that is how you spawn your game. Or reset your game. Take myself out of God mode. And I think that's it. I think this game is now officially ready to go. Sweet. Let's get to it then, shall we? Well, after much frustration, I figured what happened. When I put myself to level 20, it gave me every tech up to level 20. That's why I couldn't lock anything. So, no, that's figured out. Let's get back into Imperion, shall we? Well, dang. They made the furnace bigger. Significantly bigger. So I'm going to have to build another section just for my furnace. Fun times. I was going to build something up. But then I saw that looked weird. So it was better to actually build down a little bit into the ground. And once I got low enough, then I could add in my furnace. That's what I'm going to do. Well, that's unfortunate. As soon as my base is under attack. And I've been majorly remodeling it since I brought into this game. Should be okay. I'm sure we can take them. Let's see what we got incoming. And we got... Base stack should be no issue. I've uh, quite drastically expanded it. Not quite done yet, but getting there. Bring it down. Boom. All right. Back at it then. All right. Well, this building project has taken me much longer than I anticipated. But, you know, all that's really left is just fill in the floor, I think. Well, all right. So here's what we did to our base. We made it tier two, which is nice. CPU, I should still have a good amount of space to work with. But... I think they made blocks more. Yeah, look at that. I, mean, I got 27,000 left, which should be fine for this, but still. 902 steel blocks is 10,000 CPU. Seems like it's more expensive than it used to be. Wood blocks are definitely more expensive. I'm pretty sure they used to only cost one. I thought steel was the same, but regardless, it's fine. Whatever. We got our advanced constructor up. And then... We got our furnace down here. We created this whole section right in here. Place for the cross to grow. This can be expanded out. Three more tiles in every direction. So that will be good. I can plant more crops when I'm ready. And then I also created a secret little area for, uh, I guess, the guts of my 
base. There's two doors to get to it. Right now it's just got cargo extenders I can add more of, but I can put extra fuel tanks and whatnot down here. And of course there's all the stuff that I went underneath my base and built down. So all the stuff that was already at the bottom of my base is now also accessible from this room. Yeah, that's what I'm up to. I wanted to get some more exciting recording done, but just ran out of time today. So I am going to call this a good stopping point. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Give me a thumbs up if you like them. Hit that subscribe button. Click on the bell to be notified when I release a new episode. Questions and comments are always welcome. I release new content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Tuesday is a vlog. If you'd like to get to know me and my wife a little better, there will be a link above. Thursday and Saturday are video game videos. Alpha 12.3 just dropped and it's exciting. They did so much more with it, you know, with a whole bunch of new stuff. So I figured it was best to just bring in my old game into this game and that's what I did. Until next time, keep surviving.